So let's talk about meniscus tears. What's the meniscus? What's its function? How it gets injured? And what are the treatment options? So welcome to our channel, which is the shoulder and knee clinic. And every week we keep on discussing about various orthopedic issues, issues related to sports injuries. And we try to give you an explanation of what are the problems and what are the treatment options. So if you see your knee joint, in between the bones, there is a lining of cartilage and this is the articular cartilage and in between the articular cartilage, there is a separate form of cartilage known as the meniscus. So the meniscus has a very important function in your knee joint. It allows for load transmission across the knee joint. Now, what happens is sometimes when you have a twisting injury, like you're playing football and suddenly the knee twists in one particular direction or you are running and the knee twists, there can be an injury to the meniscus. So typically it will present with pain in the knee joint, swelling. Your knee may not move fully or it may get locked at a particular position. Now, in the initial scenario, obviously you can apply ice packs, splint it, elevate it, which will help you bring down the pain. But typically with the meniscus injury, the symptom which you will get is locking in the knee joint that at a particular position the knee locks and then you have to maneuver it out of it or you will also get a feeling that there is persistent pain on some aspect of the knee joint that would indicate a meniscus injury so if you are having these symptoms after an injury you should try to meet a sports injuries uh, specialist near your place who will diagnose the problem and treat it further typically a clinical examination is done and if required an MRI is done to diagnose a meniscus injury. Now there are two varieties of meniscus injury. One as I said before is a traumatic one where you have had a history of twisting injury. Now the other one is typically degenerative. So this happens with age, wear and tear of the knee joint and the tissues deteriorating. So for the degenerative tears there may be a history of twist but typically it will be seen in somebody around 50, 50 plus and they were walking and suddenly they started having pain in the knee joint. So that's the more typical history like you're climbing downstairs and suddenly the knee started paining. So the treatment for meniscus injuries essentially, you know, depends on the age of the individual, the activity level of the individual and the type of tear, whether it is a traumatic tear or whether it's a degenerative tear. So if you see in younger individuals who have post-traumatic meniscus injuries, who have had uh, uh, you know pain in the knee joint or who have episodes of locking in the knee joint typically an MRI is done with, to diagnose the problem the severity of it now when you look at these injuries a grade 1 and 2 injuries indicate some degree of sprain of the meniscus and generally they will heal over a period of time whereas a grade 3 injury or a meniscus tear which extends into the joint you know that's a more significant problem a lot of these small tears of the meniscus, again, they can be managed with physical therapy, medicines and exercise over a period of time. Generally, the symptoms improve. However, when there are tears are larger or if they are complete tears or there is a grade 3 injury exiting into the cartilage surface, that means that, you know, it needs some sort of an intervention, especially in younger and active individuals whom it can lead to persistent pain in the knee joint. So typically for them a surgical procedure or an arthroscopy is done. Now when we look at an arthroscopy there are again two options with regards to surgical treatment for meniscus injuries. If the meniscus injury is old or it's located in the inner area of the meniscus where the blood supply is poor then in that scenario, surgery known as partial meniscectomy is done in which the damaged portion of the meniscus is removed. So it gives good pain relief and faster return to function. Typically, an individual can start walking the same day of the procedure and by around six to eight weeks, the recovery is complete. They can resume back to sports also. But this is only reserved for very small tears where the tear is situated in a non-healing portion of the meniscus. In acute injuries, where a significant chunk of the meniscus is torn or if the injury is in a segment where there is a good healing potential of the meniscus then a surgical procedure known as a meniscus repair is done 
So in the meniscus repair, essentially the torn meniscus is stitched back so that it heals correctly. Now, a meniscus repair obviously as a surgery is a bigger surgery than a partial meniscectomy and it takes longer to recover. But in the long run, it gives very good results. It restores the normal biomechanics of your knee joint so that over a period of time, the joint cartilage is not overloaded. The shock absorber function of the meniscus is retained. Grade uh, 3 injuries where we do this uh, meniscus repair. For the first 6 weeks, weight bearing on the leg is restricted. But after 6 weeks, you can put full weight on the leg. And for you to get back to sports and playing and squatting, it takes around 3 months. There are these group of injuries like a grade 1 injury or a grade 2 injury which are essentially sprains of the meniscus which have not healed over a period of time and an individual has persistent pain. In that scenario, an injection can be given in the meniscus which can accelerate the healing. So that's the PRP injection. If you look at the degenerative tears. So degenerative tears essentially happen with age, typically in individuals above the age of 50. Mostly these are tears located to the medial meniscus or the inner meniscus of your knee joint. So tears like this essentially involve the root of the meniscus in individuals who are having some degree of abnormal alignment of the leg. Treatment in these individuals essentially is aimed at correcting the underlying cause. The arthritis is not significant enough. If there is an underlying malalignment of the leg that the leg has become bored in that scenario, a procedure known as a high tibial osteotomy is done where the leg alignment is corrected so that the meniscus doesn't get overloaded at the time of meniscus repair. So the underlying problem as well as the meniscus tear both are addressed simultaneously so that you have a good function. However, in individuals who have significant arthritis, arthritis that involves all the knee joint, in that scenario, Generally, our management is non-operative where we try with physical therapy, weight loss and things like uh, viscose supplement in the knee joint. So essentially, the aim in these individuals is pain relief, which can be done with physical therapy, weight loss and injections in the knee joint. If the arthritis is severe enough, then obviously a surgical treatment like a knee replacement procedure is warranted. So overall, this is the treatment of the meniscus injuries in the shoulder and knee clinic. We predominantly treat acute traumatic injuries of the meniscus, which are in younger individuals. And preferentially, we like to repair these torn meniscus to repair, to restore the normal biomechanics of the knee joint and to restore the longevity of the knee joint. Thank you for watching. And if you liked what you saw, you can like, share and subscribe our channel. Until next time.